it was clear to me that we needed a, a good mop to clean up things. And that's how I'm looking at it now. We're in, the, we're in a phase of cleaning up some stuff we can't see. Marty Petkoff remains very positive about his chemotherapy following stage 3 colon cancer surgery five months ago. Stage 3 means it had spread to nearby lymph nodes. We found that there was a substantial difference between older patients and younger patients with respect to who received adjuvant chemotherapy. Adjuvant chemotherapy is a grouping of chemotherapies and used to try to achieve a cancer-free state, preventing further recurrence or death over time. Dr. Katherine Kahn from the RAND Corporation and co-authors studied 675 stage 3 colon cancer patients from 2003 to 2005 in community settings nationwide, and in particular, looked at 202 patients 75 and older who often aren't involved in specialized clinical trials testing these medications. This study tells us that amongst older patients who receive adjuvant chemotherapy, they appear to be tolerating the treatment as well as younger patients who receive the treatment. The study appears this week in a theme issue on cancer research in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. One in two patients who were 75 years and over received adjuvant chemotherapy as compared with 87 percent of younger patients. The researchers found that older patients do not receive the treatment as long as younger patients and often receive weaker doses of the medication. What this does is it informs patients and doctors that if they see an older patient with stage 3 colon cancer, they shouldn't automatically, based upon their age, decide not to treat the patient. They should work with the patient and family individually to try to get a sense of how well that patient might tolerate the treatment. The quality of my life, believe it or not, has improved. Uh, I'm happier. I'm doing more. I'm more relaxed and I see great value in the things that are coming my way. Now how about that for a cancer patient, huh? Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.